good fun boat to surf. It's a very manoeuvrable craft, so it uh, you can spin it round, get it get it onto a wave on the last minute, and, and uh, runs in on a, on a wave re really nice. So also quite sideways, quite quite stable when it's uh, broached sideways on, onto the wave. So uh, and felt pretty comfortable in the cockpit and the seat, the seat backrest and, and thigh brace set up on it. Felt like I was, I was able to brace into the kayak really well. I'd say this this kayak, you know, it's going to suit a, ra a range of paddlers from uh, the beginners. It's got enough stability there that a beginner is going to be comfortable to get into it and uh, and feel comfortable in in calm to moderate sort of you know moderately rough sort of conditions. But it's also sporty enough in its performance that a that a uh, more advanced paddler is going to feel feel like they're they're enjoy, going to enjoy the paddling it as well. No, I think it's a boat that uh, even a, even a beginner is going to going to find that they're uh, they're not going to outgrow the boat. That the, this this boat is uh, the more your your skills improve, the the more your performance you're going to be able to get out of the boat. It's quite a it's quite a safe boat. Yeah, you know, the the large the, the large cockpit on there is uh, it, it means if you're out at sea and you, you end up out of your boat to get back in is a much easier proposition with that big cockpit there than if you're getting trying to get back into a, a, a tiny a tiny cockpit we, yeah we're teaching people how to use paddle floats and to do self rescues and that and in small cockpits yeah. it's quite difficult it's yes. yeah but the, the thing about it is too that the, the fact the shape of the cockpit is it's still got as much thigh bracing as what a small cockpit's got anyway yeah. So you can still yeah, hold so yourself in. That advantage of bracing. I, I didn't. This this deck doesn't even fit that kayak all that well, and yet uh, you know, it didn't come off or anything out there. So the yeah. big cockpit, and that was some pretty serious sort of um, hitting on the side there. Yeah. See the up. other the other advantage with that large cockpit is, say even if somebody's stepping into a kayak um, in in water where it's just a little bit choppy, if they've got to sit up onto the back sit the back of the seat to, to get down to slide their legs in uh, you're quite unstable and we see it all the time that's yeah. people are going to go upside down it's usually getting in and out of the boat where with something like this you can just one foot in drop yeah. straight down into the seat bring your other leg over and comfortably put it into the kayak so I, I think that's a real advantage that's that's my that's how I'd prefer to get into a kayak rather than sitting up on the, the on other, the deck the other good thing with this with this boat even though it's uh, small in in that it's five a five meter long so it's not a super long kayak it's actually got pretty good storage space and, and good storage options with the option of the day hatch at the back there and I think the fact that you've got good large hatches at the, as the rear and, and front hatch uh, just makes packing much more enjoyable than trying to pack things into these small six inch, in six inch hatches so 